Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into something really exciting. We're going to create a procedural fabric material from scratch. Let's get into it. First, add a UV sphere and make sure to shade it smooth for that clean, polished look. Next, bring in a plane and scale it up to give us a nice, even surface to work on. Don't forget to apply the scale to keep everything consistent. Now, jump into edit mode, right click, and hit subdivide. A pop-up menu will appear. Use it to increase the number of cuts. Adjust this based on what your PC can handle to keep things running smoothly. Head over to the physics properties and add a cloth physics to your plane. Then, scroll down to the collision section and enable self-collisions to prevent any weird overlaps. Next, select the UV sphere and enable collision to make sure it interacts properly with the cloth. Now hit spacebar and let the simulation play out. Select the plane, go to the modifiers tab and add a subsurf modifier. Set the viewport level to two, then apply the cloth modifier first. Finally, shade it smooth for that sleek finish. If you want to create a procedural material for any object, you need to UV unwrap it first. But don't worry, the default objects in Blender already have their UVs unwrapped, so we can skip that step. Now, let's add some lights and a camera. Increase the light power to what your PC can handle. After that, add a camera and hit Control alt numpad 0 to align the camera with the viewport. Don't forget to lock the camera. If you want to position it perfectly, switch to Render Preview Mode. Then, change to the Cycles Render Engine and reduce the viewport max samples to 300. Go to the World Properties and change the World Color to an Environment Texture. Add an HDRI to make the material pop and look sharp. Under the Render Properties, scroll down to Film and enable Transparent. Now, let's head over to the Shading tab. Let me quickly rearrange my screen. Create a new material and add a wave texture. Connect the color to the principled BSDF color. Then change the X to Y and increase the wave texture scale to 50. Add a texture coordinate node and connect its UV output to the wave texture vector. Add a color ramp and adjust the black color stop a bit. Then select both the color ramp and the wave texture and press shift Control d to duplicate the nodes with their cables connected. After that, change the second wave texture wave texture Y to X. Now when you connect the nodes, the strips will go in the other direction. But we need to mix them together, so select both the first and second color ramp, then press Control numpad 0 to mix the nodes. Select one of the color ramps and duplicate it. Then change the white color to any color you like. Thank you. 
Go back to the wave textures and increase their scales to 200. The material still looks shiny, so let's fix that. Connect the mixed color result to the principal BSDF roughness. Next, duplicate one of the color ramps and place it in the middle. Reset the color ramp and move the white color stop to increase the roughness. Guys, I'm sorry for the render quality. My potato PC is getting fried right now thanks to the screen recorder. Go to the principled BSDF and set the sheen and sheen tint to 1. Also, reduce the specular to 0.1. Add a noise texture and can connect the texture coordinate UV to the noise texture vector. Then, increase the scale to 200. Add a bump node and connect the mixed color result to the bump node's height. Then, duplicate the bump node two more times. Connect the first bump node's normal to the second one's normal. Then, connect the noise texture factor to the second bump node's height. Connect the third bump node's normal to the principal BSDF normal. Then, connect the second bump node's normal to the third one's normal. After that, reduce the strength of the first bump node to 0 0.3, the second to 0 0.2, and the third to 0 0.1. Duplicate the noise texture and connect its factor to the third bump node's height. Then adjust the scales of both noise textures to make the fabric look smoother. Increase the noise texture detail to 15 and set the distortion to 1. Alright, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future content. Catch you in the next one.